Will Newcastle, and I, again, I didn't write this, right? Just so you know. Will Newcastle replace Liverpool and Tottenham as the new top club with their spending power? We know that they've just agreed a £45 million deal for Anthony Gordon from Everton. Whether that's right or wrong, again, let us know in the comments. But in a recent interview with Sky Sports, Bruno Guimaraes has stated that he's fallen in love with the club and Eddie Howe. Um, is statements like that from players like him going to attract more top players to join? And how long is it before we see Newcastle really becoming a mainstay in that kind of top four to top six, if not higher? If they qualify for the Champions League, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the progress has been... They're already there. Yeah, I, they're already they're there. there. I think they're already there. Like, in my they're opinion. way ahead of where schedule. Like, they're way ahead of schedule. You look like, at a lot of the times though with clubs who are newly bought and things like that, they want to build a fan base. Newcastle have had that weight in. They already had that there. They, they want to build a new stadium. Newcastle have a, yeah. one of the biggest stadiums and, and it's like, <laughs> it's literally all they've been waiting for is that financials to come in. It's a one team city. The support is there. The stadium is there. Now they have the money and I feel like they've got a good manager. They've built some core pieces to the team, a spine that they can kind of build around. Listen, if they can add one or two more pieces, I don't know if Gordon is really the piece maybe I would have looked at this January. He's the Eddie Howe piece. For that much as well. <coughs> He's an Eddie Howe piece. Yeah. That's like, what I was going to say. Eddie Howe will make it Similar like Trippier, yeah. like Target, like Burn. You look at them and you're like, uh, what are they going to do? Even Wood. Yeah. They all came in and played a role in what they had to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one thing we've seen with this Newcastle takeover is everyone was thinking, oh, it's going to be Mbappe links the next week. They've actually been very smart about how they recruit as well. Yeah. And I respect the fact that they've done that and they're still in this top four race or whatever, incredible. They now secure Champions League football. What appeal are you missing? You've got the stadium, you've got the fan base, you've got the money, you've got Champions League football, you've got a decent team to play with, yeah. and the manager's not playing negative, ugly football. He's actually trying to play on the front foot good football. Yeah. But then also, when we need it, we can sit back and play the low block thing as well. And the time I, I, wasting. They're, and... They're, listen, they're, they're building something there, to be fair. And it's, mm. people are talking about when is it going to happen? You're seeing it right before your eyes, which is why I tell everyone, stop doing this. Oh, Newcastle are cute. Look at them coming up. Bro, they're going <laughs> to be taking your food off your plate soon. <laughs> and good. I'll be asking you, how nice <laughs> does it feel? <laughs> I like point. Newcastle, man. And don't I did do say, that. I like don't Newcastle. Do that. It's a good don't city. Do yeah, that. Good vibe. The you. bellies are out on the cameras and whatnot. Ooh. Qualifications when for when they're smashing your head back to back <laughs> seasons and back to back years. You are like, asking you, how does I don't it feel? like it's, it's a good I point. Need, we need to put them in their places. Once upon a time, you used to be the richest club in here. Soon I know, you, man. Soon you'll be looking like paupers. No, we we still top three. I mean, we still top three. My my thing is Newcastle is that. I always say, if I could have picked anyone, because this was always going to happen, someone was always going to enter the... It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's tradition in football that someone enters yeah. the table. The round table doesn't stay the same. Do you know what I'm saying? There's always going to be a new, a new kid in the class. New challenge. If I could have picked any new kid in the class... It would be them. That kid. That kid. They deserve it. For everything that they've gone through with Mike Ashley, and like you say, they already had the stadium, they got the fan base. We don't, we're not, no one's going to be making them Manchester City jokes with them. Do you know what I mean? They deserve it. So... I already knew this was coming. We all know the Premier League is ridiculously competitive. When Bournemouth are outbidding AC Milan, it's a joke. You know this Premier League is 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 going somewhere. So you better just buckle up and enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? It's why I've started to just say, do you know what? Brighton, Brentford, Fulham, enjoy, enjoy at our expense. Enjoy, do what you're doing because. I, I know that we will have to respond and we are responding with money and people are laughing now like, oh, how could you spend this much money? Everybody's going to have to spend this much money. Yeah. So, I'm but just, the thing is, the first ones I to think do just it. to go back to your question, the biggest club in trouble is us. Let's be honest about it. Liver you say Liverpool, I don't know why they'll, they'll be Liverpool, Liverpool in there. Well, there's Spurs are the biggest one, I think. 100 they've tried I think, to no, it's do. Not I think the Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool will always have... No, to bait me. They've oh, tried to yeah. bait me. Yeah, yeah but Liverpool, Liverpool will always have like prestige, history, <laughs> yeah. like some kind of allure to attract players. For Spurs, our ability to attract players depended a lot on qualification for Champions League. We now don't start getting that. We also don't have can't the beat funny, Newcastle the, financially. We will, yeah, either. we can't match a lot of people for money, and then it's like you're, you've got a squad that's pretty much, in my opinion, needing a lot of turnover, and a manager that's potentially on his way out. So there's going to be a lot of transition over the next year or two, and I think we could be the biggest sufferers of that, bro. You need to get. I think as well, right? You need to get them Qatari owners in ASAP. Like we're the only ASAP. club amongst that top six or seven that are not spending to the same degree. And that's transfers, uh, wages, in any capacity. You look at even net spend. I know Liverpool fans love to brag about their net yep. spend. Bro, we're bottom five over the last six or seven years. Mm. Like, 
that should not be a club in the top six, should not be in the bottom yeah. five of Great the stadium, no. It's And that's it. Guess Great what? Beers. More known for an entertainment facility now. People are saying thank you for the NFL. Thank you for the WizKid shows. This ain't what we're here for, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, yep. You're just doing it differently. I respect it. It's, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't, brother. I, I like problem, your point, man. though, about Newcastle soon taking food off your plate because I think the other night I said after the they beat Southampton, who have just scored again, by the way, they're now 2 0 up at home to Blackpool. Nice. Uh, Perot with his second goal. But after they beat Southampton, I was going, do you know what? I'd love Newcastle to win this trophy. I think you guys are looking in, at all in wrong. In two years, I won't be saying that. I think you guys are looking all wrong. I do want them to win the league. We, we are. We are sitting in a league with, let's use the, the siblings example, right? Ten siblings. You're not going to get all of that food. It's not possible. You're not eating all that food. It's going to be separated and, and, and kind of, you know, given to him, given to her. Given. So I would rather Newcastle eat. It's just another team to rival you, rival you, rival Man United, rival Liverpool. Teams that I genuinely don't like. It, it's, you know, it's just another team to go in there and say, if we can't fight that battle one year, you go, you go handle business. Look at Man City right now. I've been wishing and hoping Man City to, to take, take down Arsenal for, for, for months. Imagine if Newcastle were there. I would have two, two teams in the race. It's just, it's, just, it's just easier for me. It makes my life easier. We're not going to consistently be there. This is not how football works at the moment in this league. So I need as much teams as I can tolerate up there to say, I, I, you know, I've got a soft spot for you. Go and do what you're doing yeah, and we'll yeah, be back yeah, next yeah. year. It has to be like that. No, I get it. Don't forget to check out the best of enemies with me, Robbie, and that... And that what, blood? You know That's them way there, fans. blood? Nah, <laughs> Mr. Genetically Jacked, Athletically Stacked, Half Man, Half Amazing, Modern Day Matt, Expression Zuzi. And I can't wait to watch all the football content, the Champions League streams on DR Sports <laughs> with Tottenham. You know them way there? You ain't gonna win the trophy, let's be real. What do you mean? Listen, we're definitely winning the trophy, blood. What? Tottenham are winning a trophy this season. And why what? would I take football advice from you, blood? I'd rather take advice from hair products than what football advice What trophy are you gonna you. win? Huh? What trophy are you going to win? We've won one already, fam. The Walter Tower Cup, blam. <laughs> you get me, fam? And now we want the FA Cup. We want the Carabao. We want the Premier League, fam. I want to see my team playing in the Charity Shield. I'm excited, fam. Are you excited? I'm very excited. So don't forget to check out the best of enemies each and every week right here on DR Sports. Listen, you might not win the trophy, but you oh. can have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, at least I can see my balls, unlike certain man. DR Sports is entering the metaverse. Welcome to Hebel. Come play games and chat about the latest football drama. Meet up with friends, meet new people and have a great time. I'll be there on special VIP days. Click the link or go to the website at habo.com.